Welcome to the Diamond Spotlight interview. I am Barbara Beckley, the founder of the Diamond Factor LLC, where the mission is to empower women to understand their PPD, their purpose, passion, and drive. This platform is to make sure to increase their visibility and shine like a diamond to the world. Today, we are spotlighting another, as I call all the women, Queen Diamonds. Yadiva Gonzalez Munoz, she is a mother, companion, friend, preacher, leader, entrepreneur, women life expert advisor, inspirational speaker, and online magazine founder called I Am Magazine and founder and CEO of Live Free Today, author and regional director of Global Women Club in Brussels, and the amazing list goes on. <laughs> <laughs> So how are we doing today, Bright Queen Diamond? <laughs> how are you? Thank you. Thank you for having me here, Barbara, in your program. I am so happy to be here. From Belgium to the world, <laughs> to you. <laughs> yes, I love it. I love it. I am global. <laughs> yes, we are. We I are love global. it. So the global queen diamonds are coming in and I'm just like, eh. so this yes. is a treat. This is a treat that I have you because I know with everything I just said in your bio, you are a very busy young lady. So thank you for taking out some time to be on the Diamond Factor Spotlight Show. So we're just going to get right into it because I want people to get to know your wonderful self because I mean, I know you and it's just awesome. I just humble myself to you. So let's go into it. So, you know, as a women life expert advisor, is just one of your many titles and platforms you have. Please explain what inspired you to start in this field of expertise. Um, well, let's say that it really inspired me or it took me years to realize that um, I was lost. Mm. And I really do have to find myself. So it really took me, let's say, a car accident to realize that I really needed to find myself. And um, it took me years to find who I was. Mm. I was a single, I was, I, I could say I was a single mother. <laughs> I was a single mother with three kids um, working days weekends and everything to be able to to take care of my kids and um, most of the time here in Belgium they were most of the time alone because I was working all most of the time my parents in the U.S. of course they were always helping me but they were there I was here and and it's very difficult when you're far from 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 family because I was here alone so um I can say that when I had this accident I I came victorious out of it. <laughs> I'm not going to say I was going to be the victim. Yes. So, um yeah, <laughs> I'm not I will not be a victim. So, um it came all out of it when I have to tell the story because without the story there's no no way. Yeah. So, yeah. it came out when the doctors told me that I would never walk again after the accident. Mm. And I told the doctor that that was not not true that he would have to find a way that that um he had to do the surgeries or everything possible that I, he will have to do his job i will do mine and god will do his so of course during those 10 long years that is until the day of today i had 19 surgeries uh, to be able to walk so i am walking today and and uh, um Mm. I had therapies. I'm still going to therapies because it uh, has been a long process and I have chronic pain and everything, but mm. all that, it's it's back. I mean, I with my faith, with God and everything, I just, it's like, I am walking. So uh. I, the, the rest is just like, it's just, you know, like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> like, I am happy. But yeah. during that time, though, during those surgeries, during those therapies, I re-encountered myself again. Because during the time that I was 
working for my kids, I had no time to realize who I was. Mm -hmm. um, the time to sit down and breathe and say, okay, uh, what am I going to do now? Or when am I going to buy a dress for me? Or what am I going to uh, do my hair? And, you know, things like that. I had three kids. I had to work. My, and then finally it was like, I am home. Okay, I had surgeries. I could not walk. But I was like, and now what am I going to do? Who am I? What am I? What are, you know, all these questions, all these things that I was all the time working, 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 working slave, actually, because you are slave. Mm. And then I started thinking, okay, who am I? Mm. Mm. What do I like? Uh, did I really like the job I was doing? I was actually doing it because I knew I had to bring food for my kids. I knew I had to pay school. I knew I had to pay the gas, electricity, all the things that I had to do to live and, and, and to give everything to my kids. And then I started thinking, okay, I have to know who I am. And that's how I started discovering who I was mm. and, and trying to get out of the crisis I was Mm -hmm. in that moment yeah. and I started um I was always you know most of us women are like the day I find the best job I'll be happy mm. or the day that I marry my prince charming I'll be happy and then I realized that it was not that mm. the day I found who I was the day I I found uh, my purpose the day I found myself yeah. I fall in love I met the love of my life and I met yeah like that I say I met the love of my life and I found happiness and what I mean when I met the love of my life I don't mean that I met the Prince Charming mm -hmm. so it's not that what I mean is that I, I, I met my I am, I encounter my I am, I encounter the power within myself, I encounter my why, my purpose, I fell in love with myself and I found the happiness within me. Mm. So after that, I realized and I thought, oh my God, I wonder how many women are out there having the same thing as me, yeah. even if they're alone or not, or if they have kids, if they're divorced or married or having this type of relationship, they're not strong enough to get out of there. Mm -hmm. I want to be that person that gives them the hand and say, Hey, I've been there. I already know how to do it. Let me show you. Mm -hmm. So there's how I found this way of saying, okay, I'm a life woman expert advisor and I'm going to tell you how to well, find your I am. <laughs> I mean, that, what talking about qualifications, credibility, all just everything wrapped up into one, you have it. You're, you're the it factor with that. Oh my God. Just the yeah. story alone. Um, just wouldn't hide in me, you know, if I was sitting across from you and you were coaching me. I mean, that is awesome, Queen. That is so awesome. I, I just, oh, I just got chills when you were talking about it. <laughs> chills, chills. Because oh. I just seen how you were in one place. And then I love how you said, this is the biggest thing that I love. When you said, I found the love of my life. And it wasn't a person. And it wasn't a place. It was me within me. I found my love of myself. And that's what's so important, so important. It you know? is because, yes. because the moment that you find all that, everything around you changes. And that's the moment I, I discover everything, every, absolutely everything around me changed. Yeah. It was like, let me say, it's like, you know, like 
Hallelujah. Everything. It just <laughs> light <laughs> came. It was like, hello, hallelujah. Oh my right. God. Thank you. It was like, wow. And then I remember because my mom always used to tell me happiness is within yourself. And I was like, oh yeah, okay. You know, like, <laughs> and then one day I call my mom and say, mom, I found it. And she was like, what, what? <laughs> it was like happiness. It was <laughs> true. You always told me. <laughs> She's like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yes yeah, so, so now actually well transforming lives is my passion and and helping women is my passion inspiring others is my passion so that's why i created my company which one it's live free today and that is why i also write the book discover who you are to overcome any crisis and with this, I, I create the, the, the coaching also, which is in, in, in steps of, you know, like um, how to allow you to get to know yourself. Mm -hmm. And in steps, you get to know yourself, who you are, get to know your I am, your purpose, your why, and, and fall in love with yourself. Because sometimes we are... Our, our worst enemy we are our worst enemy mm -hmm. because we right. are the ones that are always talking to ourselves negative mm -hmm. yeah little, i always see the little gremlins behind you and you tell yes. me quiet be quiet <laughs> yes. so i always tell every woman i always tell i had to learn like that also looking at the mirror and look at myself and say mm, i love you I love you. You're so beautiful. You always have to start that way. Even if you don't believe, you have to believe it and look at yourself at the mirror and say, I love you. You're beautiful. Yes. You are the only one that has to tell it yourself. Otherwise, if you don't believe it to yourself and if you don't say it to yourself, nobody else is going to. And that day you're going to find the person that's going to tell you. If you tell it to yourself, mm -hmm. the, the person is going to come without you looking at looking because sometimes we are looking for the love in wrong places mm -hmm. when you love yourself so much love will come to you yeah. when you love yourself so much they're just coming to you without you having to look for it that's true so yes wow <laughs> uh, well let me let me i need to ask you just a few more questions you're just oh that just you just yeah. have so much. <laughs> I could not stop talking, so I ever no. I I'm love it. You, ask. you let it flow. <laughs> you let it flow because that's you. That's why you're Queen Diamond. I mean, you just you're just shining. <laughs> so now <laughs> another thing you that you're a part of the Global Women Organization and the Ambassador yes. Regional Director located in Brussels. So yes. what inspired you to become a member and leader within the organization? Because like I said, you have a lot of other hats too. Yeah, well, actually, because I was ten years. Um, with surgeries and, and all that, that I kind of came, I could not do anything. So one time I thought, okay, I have to come out. I have to do something with what I had inside, with what I wanted to show the world. Okay, I have something, but I don't know where to start and how do I do it? So I started going out, you know, I went to Tony Robbins. I started doing something and then I say, okay, where do I start? I have to join something or go socializing with somewhere. And then I heard this uh, global woman that we were, they were just opening here in, in Brussels. Mm -hmm. So I went to the, um, the first time I went there and I just, I just joined at the same, the, 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 I think I was one of the first members for the club. And um, yeah, I, I grew up there. Actually, I did grow up in, in global woman. It really helped me. I um, started speaking there. I then wrote the book there. So um, everything started coming out of there. I learned how to write a book there. <laughs> so everything started coming. Then I, yeah. I got the, the, flow, the flow of how am I going to go doing this? Because I had all the ideas, but I didn't have it. Um, you know, the, the, the path or the clue on mm -hmm. how to do it. And actually I was formed, let's say I was formed by the global woman and um, I was a year and a little bit more. 
And at the beginning of this year, Mirela, the founder, came and, and asked me if I wanted to be the the director and I oh my god it was like an honor it was like oh my god this is an honor for me of course I could not say no <laughs> I said yes and I am so happy because global woman is is just amazing I mean it, it you can see that you are part of, yes, of the sisterhood yes. now and it's great we are yeah. growing globally I love it so yeah. I am happy because it had helped me it had given me a um a guide um I've learned to write a book there. Um, one of my first books was uh, written there. I don't have it here, I think, on the hand. But yeah, I I wrote it there, and <clears throat> it just gives you so much guidance. And just meeting other women and networking. I mean, I I can say for myself, like you said, you joined the first day that you came. Well, I did too, and you know that because I'm <laughs> under <laughs> yeah. under your wonderful, you know, wonderful club in brussels and um you know when they came to you and said or you know they, they gave you that whispering ear saying maybe you should become regional director you need to be here. they picked the right person they knew they knew who they were picking they knew that you needed to be there because you shine a light with all the women and you you just make us really just um you care you have that caring heart you have that golden heart that you know you reach out to us you talk to us you remind us of things you pray for us you give us just inspirational things every day. I mean, the list goes on. So I just have to just commend you so much for, you know, just shining your light through everything that you went through, through your stories. Like I said, stories are stepping stones of strength. That's what I always tell people. And your story, I mean, so much, so much. No, you are not a victim at all. You are a conqueror. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yes, I always, that's why I love to give um, women, I always say that never, never, never be a victim. You always have to be victorious. Always. No matter what. You don't have to. We always have, God make us courageous and strong. So you have to be always, you know, like strong and say, I can do it. No matter what. And don't allow people to put you down. Like, it's like what I said, the doctor told me you will never walk again. I said, no, that's not, that's not, I'm not going to accept what he's saying. So don't allow anyone to tell you things that you are possible to do. So don't let anyone put you down. <laughs> never. Well, lady, those last words are going to stay. Thank you to telling our audience that because they needed to know that. And you see when you took the right path, which you did, see everything else that you have accomplished and still accomplishing. So thank you for giving us that hope. And that's what I always say about, that's why I bring the Queen Diamonds on, because I want to show people, hey, this is where they were, this is what they're doing, and give you hope that you can, people out there might be thinking the same thing, or they might have been thinking about giving up. You just gave them permission yes. to not to give up. <laughs> not yes, to. that's true. Don't give up never uh, well thank you ladies so much time and your know, essence but um thank you i humble myself that's why i couldn't wait for this interview because i got to talk <laughs> to you and i just love you so much and so uh, thank, thank you. you for uh, for allowing me to put you on the spotlight for diamond factor uh regarding you and understanding you on where you came from and where you are now i truly wish you continued success in your life and your business and what you're doing not just for yourself and your own life, but just for women in general. So thank you for doing that for us. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me being here. And to all the women out there, you are strong, you're courageous, and never give up. So Yay. so to those who are listening, thank you for joining us for another special edition of the Diamond Factor Spotlight interview. As you see, got the queens out there. You can join at the Facebook community under the Diamond Factor LLC, developing within you. And if you wish to be spotlighted, please contact me by messenger under the Facebook page. And remember, as our queen said, remember, you have a Diamond Factor in you. It's your purpose, your passion, your drive. It's there. Like, like our queen said today, love you. Fall in love with you. It is so important in your life, not just for yourself, but for others around you to help each other. So I will see you at the next Diamond Spotlight interview. Thank you, Queen, for coming on. I adore you. I adore you. And we'll Love talk you. soon. Bye-bye.